What is up you guys? It's Taylor Janet and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, my hair is not curly. <laughs> Today I thought it would be fun to mix it up and do another hair video. If you haven't seen my winter wash and go, be sure to check that out. But today I'm doing my curly to straight routine, blow dry and flat iron. It takes me around an hour, hour and 10 minutes start to finish. I try not to straighten my hair too often because heat damage is so real. But what I do, I do like to straighten my hair myself because I can control the amount of heat that's being used and also I don't have to pay for it. So it's a win-win situation. Um, I'm not going to ramble too much. Let's get into the video. Alrighty guys, so I'm starting with some freshly washed hair. Whenever I know I'm gonna straighten my hair just to make sure all the products are out, I wash it twice. And I let my hair dry a little bit. I rug it out and then I just walk around the house. So it's like kind of wet, but it's not too wet because I feel like blow drying, soaking wet hair is just like impossible. This is my blow dryer. It's the John Frieda whatever, whatever, I'll link it. But literally any blow dryer will work as long as you have this piece. This is like a nozzle that you can put on it. It's gonna direct all of the heat into one direction and it helps reduce frizz. Now, I usually use a round brush, like a round ceramic brush when I blow out, but I left it at school, unfortunately. So today I'm just using a regular paddle brush and it should do the job just fine. I like to use a warm heat on the high setting. I don't like to use hot heat because we're gonna straighten and Heat damage is real. So I section off my hair, I split it in half. I'm gonna put this part into a little bun just to hold the little moisture that's left like this. And I'm just gonna start blow drying the whole half and then I'll start breaking it up into sections. a good portion of the curls out what I like to do is section off the top because as you can see there's a lot of like still curly and wet parts that just haven't been touched now I'm just gonna clip it and we're gonna start just focusing on like this part okay so once my hair is blown out it's gotten pretty much of most of the curls out it's not super like bone straight but that's why i straighten my hair i'm not going to spend too much time adding unnecessary heat i really just blow dry to make my straightening easier i like to add a little bit of oil to my hair to give it some shine but you don't want to add too much oil because then your hair will look greasy when you straighten it today i'm using the castor and marigna uh softening serum i've never used it before um but it's supposed to make your hair really soft. I don't know if y'all see this, but it's literally just one drop and I'm rubbing it in my hands and I'm gonna like work it into my hair. Cause I do not want my hair to be greasy, but I think oil is important. And I think oil just helps my hair look cuter when it's straight. It literally took me less than 10 minutes to do this half of my hair. All right, y'all, on to slide number two. Y'all already know the drill by this point, so I'm gonna just speed it up. And we are back with the Finished blow dry. Put my paddle brush through. I actually really like just a plain blow dry because my hair is really big. But after that, it's time to straighten. So I'm actually about to go out right now. So I'm gonna catch you guys in the evening to do the straightening part. Alrighty guys, I am back. Several hours later and the humidity outside was crazy. So my blow out is bigger, but that literally doesn't matter because we're about to straighten it. So I pulled half of it to the side. I just do section by section. And what I have here is a ragtail comb, and this for me is the key to straightening my hair. So I have my straightener here. Again, the brand does not matter at all. And I have my heat to 300 degrees. As I'm just getting over heat damage, I'm not trying to 
do anything too crazy. Okay, so I just straightened the bottom just because I wanted to do it. get started before I show y'all what's going on. So I have a new section down. I kind of like take the front part and I'll pin that up too, just so it's out of my way. And this is the part that I'm gonna straighten right now. So I just comb through the section. I take the straightener, I go over my roots like two to three times, and then I stop. <laughs> Then I grab the hair with the comb and then from the roots down, I'm just gonna chase the hair and it's gonna comb through and every strand will be nice and straight. One half is done, y'all. Let's take out the this half, the blowout half, so we can compare. Okay, so here's the straightened half, and here's the blowout half. So I'm gonna finish up this half of my hair. Alrighty, guys, and we are all done. It typically takes me like an hour start to finish to straighten my hair. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye guys, and I'll see you in the next video.